Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding a tax function called add columns, which is a tabular function. So we will check the details about this add columns function. So what add columns does is it adds the calculated columns given to the table or table expressions. That means, okay, you are having one table called product. And if you are using add columns to create another table, the entire product table will be duplicated as well as the new column, which you are going to add in the add columns will also be joined to that table. That means, okay, whatever columns are there in this product table that will be replicated in the same base. If you don't want that to happen, you can use the select column DAX function. But add columns is totally different than select columns. Add columns will take all the columns from this selected table. So it returns the table with all its original columns and the added whatever columns you are going to add it will come as well as the columns which is already present so we will take the example we are having a column we are having a table called product which is having two columns product name and product id and we are having the fact table so now we will create a table with add columns and we will take the sales amount also so with respect to all the products whatever sales that's happened like for the for these products that also needs to be added to that add column. So we'll create the table, go to modeling of new table, we'll give the name as product equals to add columns. And the first first parameter is the table. So we can give the dim product itself which product, which table you need to replicate. So you can give it as dim product and the name of the new column which you are going to add. So we will give it a sales and the expression. So we need to sum up all the sales amount and we need to display it. So we will use that sum x and table. Since it has been related, you have to give related table. Otherwise, we'll be getting all the values that will be equal. I mean, it won't filter from the value. So we will be we will give it as related table and the table name is fact and the expression and the column name is sales so we just added one column called sales and the sum of all the products but the table which we are going to get it is this product along with the sales so we will see that the other table here and you see the table of the three columns as up so we will display it here in the visualization way we will copy and paste this table and we'll remove the columns from this and then we will insert this column product name and sales so you can see the same table has been duplicated once again along with the sales that this is the new column that we have added using add column. So this is the way we have done the add column. So if you want to know more about add, I mean, the difference between add column and selected columns, there is a video regarding that. You can go to the tutorials and you can see that. Hope this will help you. Have a nice day.